Hello there. We both know that tennis requires athletes to move quickly and efficiently because they are required to change direction rapidly while maintaining their balance and control. Through a series of this movement mixed with con conditioning drills, Marta hones her ability to synchronize her footwork with upper body movements, ensuring smooth and fluid motion on the tennis court. And these lateral movements drills, you know, they play a major role in in Kostyuk's training, tennis players often find themselves needing to cover ground sideways, whether to reach wide shots or to defend against opponents who employ strong cross-court shots. So she is engaging in this kind of lateral movement drills. Uh, Kostyuk's enhances her ability to swiftly uh, shift sideways, enabling her to reach balls that would otherwise be out of her reach or mostly will cause her muscle cramp. Well, the good thing about these drills, they help improve her defensive skills and allow her to maintain a strong position on the court. So, another intense exercise she has is the hurdle reps, which are another essential component on Kostyuk's footwork training. These drills involve her foot a coach to set up a series of hurdles at a different heights and distance, requiring costumes to jump over them while maintaining her footwork rhythm. Hurdles give her explosive power, agility, and coordination. And other cool part is, and the cool other part, and, and, and the cool other part of these uh, drills is, Kostyuk strengthens the muscles in her legs and improves her ability to generate power from the ground which is in session for executing powerful shots. After doing some hard drills, Kostuk goes for mean hard drills into her training routine. In contrast to other hard drills, the, these are lower in height and are placed closer together, forcing Kostuk to take quick steps and improve her foot speed. These drills will mostly definitely enhance her foot speed, allowing her to react faster on the court and reach shots that require rapid movement. Then the next thing she has is uh, agility ladder drills combined with the reflex drills. This epic piece of training form another crucial aspect of Kostyuk's footwork training, which requires navigating through a ladder like structure laid flat on the ground, which is almost likely to improve her footwork precision, quickness, and coordination. And adding reflex drills to the mix of, uh, of this drill, Kostuk trains her body to react instantly to stimuli, making the split second decision, making required in the making required in intense match situation. The aim of these drills is to sharpen her reflexes and enable her to lighting fast adjustment on the test tennis court. Uh, to further challenge herself and simulate game-like conditions. Kustux incorporate a unique drill involving a medicine ball and cones. In, in this drill, she throws a medicine ball while moving in and out cones, placed strategically on the court. These drills improve her footwork while adding an element of upper body strength. Coordination and coordination. Yes, at the same time. It helps Kustux to develop the ability to generate power and maintain balance even at the same time, executing dynamic movement on the tennis court. If she constantly engages in these drills, I'm very sure Kustuk will be a beast in the near future and tennis will be scary. Uh, and I say, to summarize, all this aims to improve, uh, all, aims, this, all this put, um, these drills aims to improve her overall performance on the tennis court. The comparison of, of connection, lateral movement, and hard drills, mean, mean hard drills, agility ladder drills, and reflex drills, the medicine ball drills to, allows her to enhance her footwork, speed, and agility, and possibility, and reaction time. So these attributes give her a significant advantage over opponents by enabling her to cover the court more effectively, respond quickly, and changing shots 
and maintain optimal position during matches. Now, if you, one can quickly observe a serve, you can immediately notice a food arm action, which is crucial for generating power and accuracy. And unlike some players, a racket does not come to a halt at the top of a backswing, ensuring a smooth and continuous motion. So another noteworthy aspect of good silk serve is a contact with the racket on edge. This technique is essential for utilizing pronation correctly, which allows her to maximize maximum power and spin on the, on the serve. By making contact with the racket on edge, she can effectively leverage her wrist and forearm to generate additional force and control. So to further analyze, uh, if, you, to, uh, if you can draw a line through her shoulders, it will run parallel to the side lines. This alignment uh, signifies a well-executed shoulder turn away from the target, resulting in what is known as a separation angle between the hips and the shoulders. This separation angle creates additional se se segment in a kinetic chain, enhancing the potential of power generation on the on herself. To ensure that her body is adequately prepared for demanding workout, Kustuk begins with a warm-up exercise of a high knee movement. This exercise raises her heart rate, increases blood flow to the muscles, and prepares her body for the workout session. After that, she begins with a single leg rotation lift. So she does three sets and 12 reps. So the benefit of this exercise is that it targets the hip abductors, uh, abductors and adductors and rotators. When performing the, uh, this movement, Kustuk strengthens the muscles responsible for stabilizing her hips, which are vital for maintaining balance and preventing injuries during quick changes changes of direction on the tennis court. And so the next one, one she does is the backward lunge with overhead uh, pile of press, which she takes uh, three sets and 12 reps each side. The backward lunge engages the glutes, core reps, and hamstrings while adding an overhead pile of press challenge challenges her core stability and upper body strength. This exercise improves her lower body strength and overall functional movement patterns. And after this, uh, she does some lateral lunge, lunge, lunges with slider, three sets with 10 reps each side. The lateral lunge primarily targets the ad ad adductors muscles hips and glutes while adding a slider Kustuk increases the difficulty of exercise, uh, forcing her muscles to work harder and stabilize her body. This exercise helps her to improve her lateral movement and strengthen her lower body muscles, making them firm. After this, she includes chest fly with knee drive, which requires to do three sets with 10 reps each, each leg. So the combination of chest flight with the knee drive adds an element of core engagement to the exercise. Kustuk strengthens her pectoral muscles while simultaneously working on, on her core stability and hip mobility, which is vital for generating power during her shots on the tennis court. So she takes few minutes rests and she goes for a concentric squats which always require her to do three sets and eight reps while carrying eight kilograms of barbell these concentric squats focus on explosive movement emphasizing the upward face and of the squat when lifting a significant load which is 80 kilograms kustuk develop lower body strength and power translating into explosive movement on the tennis court, such as such as quick sprints and powerful shots, and they are followed by a series of uh, progressive jumps, jo box jumps. They usually take three sets and six reps, each six reps, um, on alternate legs. Both, uh, so the box jumps are under 
prometric excess as we know and the uh, expo- uh, uh, responsible response uh, responsive for for improving explosive power and the lower body strength by doing progressive jumps acoustic challenges have served to increase the height and difficulty over time enabling her to generate ex- explosive power needed in her movement or during matches now after this she takes a few minutes to breathe and she does some three sets of side planks with back row knee drive each 12 reps each side performing a side plank with the back row and a knee drive strengthen her entire core which is essential for stability balance and generating power in her shorts this workout is followed by two sets of landmine and angled reverse lunge with 12 reps each leg uh, this landmine angle reverse lunge adds an extra challenge into the additional reverse lunge exercise by uh, angling the barbell acoustic activates her glutes hamstring and quad reps while simultaneously challenging her core stability and balance so moving on she does also uh takes three sets of kettlebell swing pops with eight reps each leg you know you should know that this is a an out an lateral exercise that targets the glutes hamstring and core muscles this exercise helps us to develop more power and explosive in a lower body while improving her balance and stability and uh, she does a um three sets of TRX rib trainer torso rotation which includes 12 reps each side the TRX rib trainer torso rotation engages the core muscles obliques and back muscles this kind of ex- rotational movement mimics the rotational demands of tennis enhancing acoustics ability to generate power during the strokes and maintaining strong and stable core and after this she targets her body to cool off and she does some extreme mobility and stretching exercises with the resistance bands so to all additional strength so to addition a strength exercise she does matter acoustic will add an mobility and stretching exercise using the resistance band this resistance aims to this exercise aims to improve her mobility her flexibility joint range of motion and overall mobility which is a crucial for pre- injury prevention and efficient movement on the tennis court and of this exercise uh, and, and, and to increase sorry the blood flow so, oh one more thing there's one workout i forgot is uh, the medicine ball slam and a hip thrust which are which does three sets with three reps the medicine ball slams combined with hip thrust and a dynamic exercise that works the entire body This eight types of workout improve acoustic explosiveness, power and coordination while activating her core, glutes and upper body muscles. And lastly, she does a rope battle for 10 minutes. This workout provides an intense cardiovascular workout while engaging her upper body muscles, core, glutes and strength. This exercise helps coaster to develop the endurance, mental toughness and full body conditioning. When we look at her forehand, the positioning of Kustuk grip lies somewhere between an eastern grip and a semi-western grip. An eastern grip typically involves placing the basal knuckle on the index finger on the third bevel on the racket hand, while a semi-western grip shifts the base knuckle onto the fourth bevel. So, in the Kustuk case, her grip appears to be a hybrid of, a, of the two, possibly leaning more toward the eastern side. So observing the acoustic forehand, you can notice her distinct flow through. After striking the ball, she constantly she consistently finishes her stroke with her elbow and racket raised high above her shoulder. This technique allows her to, to achieve exceptional depth and control on her forehand, making them formidable weapon on the tennis court. And to to generate top spin, acoustic extend her 
arm fully during the stroke, allowing her to impart second cut spin on the ball. She gains the leverage necessary to utilize her wrist effectively. The wrist plays a virtual role in a technique, enabling her to snap the racket through the compact the contact point with the precision and power. Uh, Costa grips and technique is one thing that co contributes to her ability to generate powerful and heavy toss spin for hand. The combination of a grip, extension and wrist action allows her to create immense racket head speed, resulting in a significant amount of top spin on the ball. This top spin not only gives her a short excellent depth but also allows her to clear the net comfortably while maintaining the control and accuracy. And a high elbow racket finish are instrumental in her ability to generate depth by finishing her forehand with the, her, her elbow and the racket raised high above the shoulder. She maximizes her swing path and enables her to hit the ball with more power and depth. Speaking about her backhand, one thing you can notice is the position of both her arm and the contact point. Unlike some other players who have one arm straightened at the contact, Kusta keeps her both both of her arms bent. This provides her with excellent control and stability during the stroke. Kusta can initiate her backhand with a remarkable unit turn, utilizing her entire body to generate power and consistency. Simultaneously, she takes her racket up slightly higher than the most of 200 players on the backswing. This extra elevation allows her to generate more leverage and power when driving through the ball. So once in a motion, Kustok employs a suburb, superb inside-out swing pattern. This technique enables her to help to accelerate the shot effectively, adding pace and depth to her backhand. The inside-out swing also grants her flex fle flexibility to hit other types of shots, such as a size backhand or a dog shot. She will she find herself at the net, or if she if or if her open forces her to into the net exchange.